Hello, everybody. I gotta keep my uh, my voice down. I just put the kids down, and uh, you know, the first like ten minutes after you put them down, they could pop up like meerkats at any moment. So, anyways, I'm gonna be a little bit hushed on this beer review, and obviously, no kids in the video. Sorry. Um, so it's hot as a mother outside. Uh, I looked at the forecast and it is triple digit heat like as long as the eye can see. It's like the 10 day forecast where like the lowest is like 102. I mean, it's brutal. So um, my wife, she's out for a little bit this evening and she did say, when I get home, I wanna have a glass of wine. And I was thinking about opening some wine and waiting and I was like, I have a beer fridge full of ice cold beer gotta have a beer. So, that's where we're at. Today I'm bringing you uh, Hong Kong Garden. Uh, this is a fruited IPA. Um, it's uh, a collaboration between Alvarado Street and Drake's. Um, comes in at 6.8% and the fruit is it's an IPA brewed with lychee. Lychee. Um, so, I can't say I'm super familiar with lychee. I know it's kind of a tropical fruit, so hopefully that pairs well with the hops they used. Let's see what we're picking up on the nose. I smell no lychee fruit. Not that I think I know what lychee fruit smells like. But, like, it, I don't smell any kind of, like, specific fruity aromatics that you would expect. <clears throat> I mean, it smells hopped, and I smell the malt, and I smell hops, uh, but I do not smell any, like, like, if you didn't say there was lychee, based on the aromatics, I mean, it would just be some IPA, you know? doesn't smell so maybe lychee is not the most aromatic fruit maybe that's the problem Let's see how it tastes there's a nice finish to this beer so right when it hits your tongue and as it's going down I mean, it kind of just tastes like a standard sort of West Coast style IPA, you know, crisp, pine, you get some of those typical sort of West Coast IPA flavors. But then like the moment it goes down the hatch, there's sort of this long finish and there's like maybe a hint of something different. Maybe it's my mind playing tricks with me. Um, I mean, it's really tasty. I like it a lot. Uh, but in terms of the lychee, it's funny because, and I've said this in other videos, if you put something on the label, people are, it sets an expectation, right? You know, if you say aged in peaches, right? People are going to expect peach. If you say, you know, IPA with lychee fruit, I'm going to expect some odd fruity flavor that I may not be used to, but I expect something different to be really like shining through. I don't get that in this. That being said, if you ignore the lychee thing altogether, I would say it's a solid, crisp, uh, tasty, West Coast style IPA. Yeah, it's good. Cheers.